Okay, guys, welcome. So today, in this class, we're going to look at the writer or the character right here. Okay? So like I said in the other class, this character is a whole cause by itself. If I want to like show you guys how to model it. All right but this cause we are not focused on you know making of the character we wanted to get around in houdini how to you know do direct modeling simple modeling and stuff i will have a cause on modeling a whole character but i want to show you guys how i was able to have a character like this you know pose on a bike i want to show you Houdini have so many characters we can bring in, but I want us to get out outside of Houdini for a little bit. You know, we've been working in Houdini so far. I want us to get out and get to another program and then bring in a character, you know, like, you know, in most cases you'll be working in, if it's a game company, they will have already a pipeline a pipeline is a series of you know softwares the company use so you jump from one software to another so i want us to experience something like that very quick okay so this character i'm gonna bring it from a free program called make human okay so let's do that let's jump into it This is a free program that you can get it and it allows you to customize pre-made characters you know what i mean so it have some cool features you can bring in a character like this and customize it you know change face body shapes and stuff like that but what we want is you know a character which have you know a, a bone system a skeleton in it so we can control we can pose it more you know when we come to pose you know you see we can have pose in it that way we can control it all right so that's why i decided to use this also it's free and also to show you guys how you know to get around a little bit one cool thing about it that it's also good is that it have a very cool topology which is very important for what we're going to use the character for you know you see if we look at the character we see the topology is very nice you see it's flowing the lines look at the lines how it's flowing you can see that the polygons are in here you know the hands you know see the polygons flowing if it is circle around you know so the topology is very important when you know you are working you already talk about that in the early classes and this is a similar um, way to to visualize it how this character the topology is flowing so if I want to select these polygons in the middle here so easy to to go about it all right so let's 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 go let's send this out and see how you know um i i did mine all right so let's come to files if you get this program it's very easy to get around so we're not spending time here you know so if we come to files and we come to export you know actually let me open the one that I, i'm going to to use i already have it here i save it you know so i'll open that one okay so it's here right now you see it have a shoe on you know we we need we need the, the character to have a shoe or something so it's here you know during the customization materials you are able to pick different type of materials geometry types clothes and shoes like that you know you get through it 
when you have the free copy and you you will know what I'm talking about. So right now we're not going to waste too much time. Let's let's send it out. Okay, let's go back and send it to you know. So there are some few parameters here that I wanna to show you. When you are sending it out, you know, from the mesh format, we have collider, film box, wavefront OBJ. We don't want the OBJ. If we have OBJ, it's still gonna look like this everywhere we take it, right? We shouldn't be, or it won't allow us to control the hands. There will be no bones, no skeleton to control it. So we don't want the OBJ, we want the FBS because the FBS will hold you know the skeleton we pick all right it will it will export everything out for us okay so that is the only thing to to note here all right so let's go for film box fbx all right and then the the scale unit um i know the scimitar will be bigger in houdini but let's let's pick that so that I will show you when you have something that the unit is big or is larger than your scaling you are using in Houdini, how you fix that. It's very easy fix. You just work on the scale. So let's let's do it like this. Let's pick this. Let's send it out. Okay. I already have some sent out already, but let's make ours number three. Okay and then send it out save that's it so we can close this and now get back to houdini okay all right so how do you get something like that into houdini okay to bring something like that you know we assume that we don't have it here already and we want to bring it in okay so to bring something like that in Houdini, you come here to the file, then import, and then we go for what? We go for film box because that's how we save it, all right? Then we start looking for the path. We, we're going to leave everything default, okay? Just leave everything default. Here, save it number three. So accept it, and then... It will ask you down here i think that's the only thing you will decide okay it will ask you do you want to open this file that we are importing as a new scene or that means it will close this and open that alone for you or do you want to import it inside here we want it inside here right now just to show you something quick so import all right now you see what i was talking about you see how huge it is it's like thousand times the one we've been working on <laughs> you see it's very huge but it's cool right so how do you fix something like this by the way where is it where is the file so you come to the object level see everything is happening here at the object level right see the the network have a default middle where things land so in case you are looking for something and you don't find it try to zoom out or you know i mean look for it a little bit it's normal you see how far this is from what we are working on this is where we are and when we click on it you know we see that it have a scale and it's still at the object level so obviously scaling means that we can blow it bigger like this like it is already now or we can make it smaller so in our case right now we want it to be smaller you know try 0 0.2 on each axis and see Okay, now we can zoom in to the one we have here. If I click outside, I get out, you see, it's now selected. 
so we we see later uh, we see things a little better right we see the bones we see the character everything is showing a little better but what we want to do is to move it down okay move it down small so we use the move controller to move it down and then zoom out move it backwards like that assuming that like he 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 kind of like raise up from bending and standing so all we have to do is to be able to figure out how we will reach the bones because we cannot control the mesh we have to control the movement by moving the bones right you know when when you do animation on characters you will know all this stuff all right we will do that i will have a very deep course on character because i'm very good on character and animations too so it's it will help you guys so so what we will do is we will we will find out where the bones at and then control it you know we're not going to spend time on it i just want to show you how i was able to get this when i show you just one way of doing it i'll leave it for you guys to try it. you have all kinds of you know characters you can use you know they are all here you see you can try them i just want us to get out for a little bit all right okay cool so how do you get in all right the same way just jump in you know when you jump in let's let's see the network a little bit when you jump in it kind of looks scary a little bit if you are not familiar with this thing okay but it's a very simple thing you know it's just like houdini made it very simple because it's showing you like the structure you know how things are breaking down so it start with the root okay and the root is what is controlling the whole character let me show you real quick the root bone is this one right here you see this uh reddish color right here that's the the main bone and it's controlling everything all right it's controlling all the bones okay so that is the root bone so the root bone you know game engine is how we save the bone the uh, the character or the you know the skeleton name is game engine if you remember you know we use game engine so the bone the character system in here that's the name of it